Um, I got on the bus in Davidson, Saskatchewan, and I'm heading up to Saskatoon. I've got uh, uh, an appointment with an internal medicine specialist, and my elderly dad is going to pick me up at the bus station with my mom, and we are going to head down to my appointment. And I have several family members in Saskatoon, but they all work full time, so it's uh, a little bit difficult for me to ask them to come out and get me. My husband um, is at, currently in New Zealand. Um, he just started a new job. Um, he was laid off here in Saskatchewan. So for me, taking the bus is definitely freedom for me. I can go into Saskatoon, do a little bit of shopping, see my family, get some appointments done, get this dog organized in order to actually go to New Zealand. Um, there's a lot of paperwork, etc. So. Um, I definitely have been using this service quite a bit over the last 10 years and in particular over the last six months. Um, uh, I will really miss STC. I think that um, it's unfortunate that we have to let this go. Uh, it would have been nice if we could have subsidized it on, on some level. So yes, it will be sorely missed. I, I am actually completely blind and I don't have a problem with that term. Um, I have had no vision for uh, the last 20 some years and uh, I have a seeing eye dog. Uh, we cannot walk to Saskatoon, <laughs> it's too far. Um, I cannot get on a bus and the only way I can, um, after the 31st, which I am coming back from Saskatoon that day, but after the 31st I am going to have to beg and pay money to for people to drive me to Saskatoon. So I am definitely going to be on other people's mercy and on their time schedule. Um, for me, STC is just part of uh, being independent. It is a way for me to feel like um, I am part of a society that can support diversity for disabled people, for seniors, I feel very strongly that we need to allow people to be themselves and not feel like a burden. The STC drivers are, are particularly uh, wonderful as far as helping me out, noticing when I need a little bit of assistance and uh, in general being very, um, very positive about my seeing eye dog and, and just my, my needs in general. There are days when I'm tired and I need a little bit extra help, and I appreciate that. I notice too that um, the STC drivers are very kind to those who maybe are new at this, taking the bus. They're good at explaining things and, and putting everyone at ease. And uh, it, I know it's not just for me. I know my great nephew uh, can take the bus to, up to Yorkton to see his dad, and now he will not be able to do that. So I'm not the only one who will miss this service. I take the bus in the summertime nearly every week. In the wintertime, not as often, but very regularly. Um, I go to uh, Regina on uh, medical uh, visits, which is, has been really good because, you know, I can go at any time. I don't have to have the doctor saying, okay, we have to go around your schedule, when can you come? And I also, uh, I help my daughter with her daycare. So I'm with her during the week, and then I go home to my husband in Birkdale on the weekends. And you're heading to Regina? I'm heading to Regina. This is my last run to Regina. It's a very sad, sad trip, because I don't know how I'm coming home. I leave the car for Walter because he needs the car to get around. And in Regina, I've, my children are all there. They can. Uh, take me wherever I've got city transit. You said you don't know how you're getting home. That's no. the bus service ends. There's no bus service. Yeah. So I don't know uh, if I will get a ride. I don't know uh, if my husband will come and get me. I don't know if my children will take me. I Right now, as of today, I don't know how I'm going back home. It's very, very important. It ties the rural areas in to the uh, to the cities 
because Saskatchewan is not a corridor like Alberta. It's, it's spread out everywhere. So they really, truly need this bus service uh, throughout Saskatchewan. It's been here for so many years and it's so sad that suddenly they just take it away for really no reason. They say it's losing money, but you know, it's been doing that for so many years. I think in the end, they're going to realize the big mistake that they are making taking this bus service off.